Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Cruz and I'm back with another tutorial and today I'll be making a camera lens blur transition actually, um, the title will be just a blur transition and yeah, so six months ago I requested this tutorial from Rico, so it's shout out to Rico and this guy CPZ who actually requ requested from me because he obviously didn't make it but here is the preview from his edit just this blur and then boom and watch now this middle of blur and again shake yeah so I'm going to show you this how to make it as fastest as I can so here is my preview and yeah pretty similar like blur shake and yeah so all you will need for this is just a nice shake and here is the preset so yeah that's pretty much it so in this one I already have marked my spots where I wanna cut my clips so I'm going to press ctrl shift D also on the second marker where the kill cam is about here control shift D I'm going to delete this one press shift and drag this right here I'm going to press N for the end and trim walk area work not walk so as you can see we got just simple switching clips so now we're going to make a adjustment layer and I'm going to the middle where the marker is and I'm going to press shift page down and it will go 10 frames forward for me but if you don't know how to if you don't know where the page up page down is right above the arrows on your keyboard and yeah so we're going to go 20 frames so press again shift and page down we're going to go control shift D delay this and now go to the middle again go to shift page up same like before one 20 frames and control shift D to delete it so all we got is this an adjustment layer nothing I'm going to change the color uh, purple now the main thing is camera lens blur everyone has that camera well, camera lens blur yep we are going to drag that and now the most important thing the camera lens blur is to press repeat edge pixels because if you don't check that you will got these black things at your edges of your screen so yeah we fixed that now I'm going to go and Blur radius about 20. Nope, 50. Nope, 70. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. No, 15 is fine. Okay, so blur radius 50, and now I'm going to press stopwatch right here. Press U on your keyboard, but be sure to have selected your adjustment layer, and I'm going to call it transition. Press U on your keyboard, keyboard, and now go to the end of your adjustment layer. Maybe back one frame. No, doesn't matter. And go to blow radius to zero. Make that same on your other side. Just go to and pr press zero. So we got just simple keyframes for your blur. As you can see, now we are going to select all of them. Press F9, but I'm recording and I don't wanna, I don't know, mess with recording. So I'm going to press right click on one of them, keyframe assistant, and easy ease. Now we need a just a nice curve. Go to graph editor and let's make kind of U letter like Twixter sinking. So we got some flow 
on this and yeah about here so make it looks like you know if you make straight like this it will be zero and then wait so this don't look bad at all yeah it's fine now make like some curve you and you can copy mine and also the preset of this transition will be in the description uh, actually project file and yeah so we got this nice flowish kind of transition and now we're going to run preview this as you can see nothing special just blur and now I'm a Sony Vegas editor I mean I use After Effects for effects and CC's and everything but seeing gun sounds and everything is in Sony Vegas so all transitions and everything I use Sony Vegas so yeah I'm going to show you one thing I actually never made this in After Effects but I hope it will be fine so I'm going to press S on my keyboard for scale go four frames backwards one two three four I'm going to press stopwatch on your scale and go to the marker and I'm going to press 220 so what did we got we got like this scaling from 100 to 220 and maybe we can put it to about 300 so we got faster also don't make your easy because it, it will look like shit actually we can make it we can make it go to easy ease easy ease graph editor and just make curve like this as you can see so it will look amazing just let me preview this yep it looks nice a lot of flow just let me fix this a little bit yeah I think it's perfect and now also we made a flow transition we made lens blur and now I'm going to put a shake on as you can see this web shake yeah so I'm going to type on S shake you have to get a sapphire plugins and now you're you're like I don't know whatever I want to say you can put it on clip or make an adjustment layer but now for this tutorial I'm going to put it on a clip I'm going to leave amplitude to 1 and frequency to 5 Z dist I'm going to put to 0 actually I'm not going to put it to 0 everything I'm going to leave reflect reflect and now you're going to press stopwatch on amplitude press U go about like maybe a little bit after a tra finishing the transition go one two three four five frames and now amplitude put to zero so we got some kind of shake nice pretty simple and I'm going to make curve like this so we got some chill transition of the opacity and now pretty much I'm going to ramp preview this and that's pretty much it as you can see we got a blur with some I don't know pretty stylish pretty fancy and I like this transition a lot this is the best thing you can make without plugins so yeah guys thank you for watching 
also s s hit subscribe f so you can stay tuned and thank you CBZ for requesting this and yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial hope you guys enjoyed and that's pretty much it see you next time